In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NFL game happening on September 16, 2024, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game, so two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NFL game after fully watching watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Atlanta Falcons vs. Philadelphia Eagles The Atlanta Falcons hit the road to face the Philadelphia Eagles for Monday Night Football on September 16th. The Falcons are coming off a disappointing Week 2 opener where they were defeated by the Steelers in brutal fashion. Meanwhile, the Eagles are riding high after securing a win over the Green Bay Packers in a game that was notably played in Brazil. Philadelphia has had an extended nine-day rest since their victory over Green Bay. While the Eagles are carrying lofty aspirations for the 2024 season, the Falcons are seeking to improve their record and performance compared to recent years. The Philadelphia Eagles currently stand at 1-0 this season after defeating the Green Bay Packers by a score of 34-29 in their last matchup. Philadelphia found themselves trailing 6-0 at the end of the first quarter and 19-17 at halftime, but they turned the tide by scoring 17 points in the second half to clinch the victory. Statistically, the Eagles were outgained 414-410 in total yardage, and despite committing three turnovers and struggling on third down, converting just four of 14 attempts, they managed to pull through. Quarterback Jalen Hurts threw for 278 yards with two touchdowns and two interceptions, while running back Sack on Barkley rushed for 109 yards and contributed two scores on 24 carries. Despite their mistakes, the Eagles showed resilience and found a way to win, but their defense still has some work to do as they allowed over 400 total yards. On the other hand, the Atlanta Falcons opened their season with an 0-1 record after losing to the Pittsburgh Steelers 18-10. Atlanta held a 10-6 lead late in the first half, but they were shut out the rest of the way, being outscored 12-0 for a tough defeat. The Falcons were outgained by a total total of 270 to 226 in yardage, turned the ball over three times, and converted just two of nine third down attempts. Kirk Cousins, making his debut as the Falcons' starting quarterback, threw for 155 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions, while Bijan Robinson led the ground attack with 68 yards on 18 carries. Atlanta had moments of competitiveness, particularly in the first half, but they struggled to generate offense in the second. Cousins looked out of sync, possibly due to rust from missing time with an injury, but there's hope for improvement as the season progresses. The Falcons entered the 2024 season with renewed optimism following a lackluster 2023 campaign, thanks to the addition of head coach Raheem Morris and veteran quarterback Kirk Cousins. Unfortunately, their debut did not go as planned. Pittsburgh's defense, led by a dominant T.J. Watt, wreaked havoc on Cousins, limiting him to just 155 passing yards and forcing two interceptions. Cousins appeared rushed and uncertain, displaying an urgent and sometimes panicked approach to his passing. This lack of chemistry with his wide receivers was apparent throughout the game. On the other side of the ball, the Falcons' defense held firm, but Pittsburgh's methodical offense did just enough to put up 18 points through six field goals, earning the Steelers a gritty win. As Atlanta prepares for their week two matchup, things may not get any easier. Cousins has struggled historically in Philadelphia, holding a 3-4 record in seven visits, with his last win coming in 2018. To make matters worse, his track record in primetime games is 12-20, and the Eagles looked sharp in their season opener. Despite a sloppy start, the Eagles rallied to score 34 points over the final three quarters in their win over the Packers, thanks in part to a rejuvenated Saquon Barkley who found the end zone three times. While Philadelphia's defense allowed some points, they stepped up when it mattered most, shutting down Packers quarterback Jordan Love, who managed just 17 completions on 34 attempts for 260 yards. Offensively, the Eagles demonstrated their ability to move the ball both through the air and on the ground. Although the Falcons' defense performed admirably against Pittsburgh, they weren't tested by a high-powered offense, as the Steelers have long struggled with consistency. The Eagles, on the other hand, boast dangerous weapons at receiver and a versatile backfield 
field, creating a difficult challenge for Atlanta's defense. Kirk Cousins will need to step up significantly if Atlanta is to have any chance in this game, as their running game alone won't be enough to secure a victory. Philadelphia, coming off nine days of rest since their win over Green Bay in Brazil, should be well-rested and prepared for their home opener. Saquon Barkley looked like his dominant self, and it will be difficult for the Falcons to slow him down. While Atlanta's defense kept Pittsburgh out of the end zone, allowing only field goals, they'll be facing a much more dynamic Eagles offense, which could expose any lingering weaknesses. In their first game, Atlanta struggled offensively in the second half, with Cousins unable to move the ball effectively. If Cousins continues to struggle, Philadelphia's defense will focus on stopping Bijan Robinson, forcing Atlanta to rely on Cousins' arm, which could spell trouble for the Falcons. Backed by one of the loudest home crowds in the NFL, the Eagles are primed to dominate an inexperienced Falcons team. Given all these factors, the Philadelphia Eagles to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. In terms of the total points, both teams have shown a tendency to hit the over recently. The Falcons have gone over the total in two of their last three games, while the Eagles have done so in three of their last five. Atlanta's offense underperformed in their opener, largely due to Cousins' inaccuracy and struggles to establish a ground game. However, they may find more success this week against an Eagles defense that allowed over 160 rushing yards on just 21 carries to the Packers. Philadelphia had no trouble moving the ball in their opener, and with the Falcons' secondary showing signs of weakness, particularly against the pass, the Eagles could continue to put up points through the air. While Philadelphia's defense made timely plays in their Week 1 win, they were far from perfect, and given the firepower on both sides, betting on the over seems like a wise choice. Philly's offense, now featuring Saquon Barkley, looks more dangerous than ever with a steady offensive line, explosive skill players like A.J. Brown and Devonta Smith, and new offensive coordinator Kellen Moore off to a strong start. The Falcons, while inconsistent, still have playmakers like Bijan Robinson and Ray Ray McLeod who showed flashes of brilliance in their opener. Even with Kirk Cousins' struggles, Atlanta has enough talent to put up points. Philadelphia's secondary is good but not invincible, and their defensive line has some question marks, despite strong performances from linebacker Zach Bond. Ultimately, both teams have the offensive firepower to turn this into a high-scoring affair, making over the projected total our full-game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.